Okay, guys, Logic Pro X 10.4, the new horn or horns instrument. I'll be messing around with it. <laughs> Here's another one. Here's another one. another one sounds bloody good huh I mean god damn for nothing for free holy mackerel right so let's check it out let's make a new one uh, let's get some drums and bass over here. Come over here, you. Um, okay, so now instrument track. Make iron an instrument track and put on it the studio horns three piece section. I'm using Chicago Street. These are three piece brass sections trombone, sax, and trumpet. Don't bother with the six and seven piece. I mean, these don't work the same as the three piece okay so i'm i've got to figure out how these work but even so for doing all your brass work for pop for soul for funk for neo soul for anything the three piece is all you need and you don't have to get into anything complicated right you can work it out of the box uh, really easy so put on a three piece section one of them chicago elements or whatever i'm using the chicago right Pencil in region. Now, these are all track stacks, these brass sections, these um, studio horns, right? So you can open up the stack, and inside there is the individual track for each of the instruments the trombone, the trumpet, and the sax. There's this additional track, and if you select that and look at its channel here, there's the horns instrument, right? Now, this is the complicated stuff. There's no manual, so I've got to figure this out, but you don't need to worry because this is how it is out of the box. The default articulation for the horns is expressive medium. Okay, just leave that, we'll come to that. This is how everything's set, right? And um, the complicated stuff here, this is to do with controllers, um, but this is how it should be. Allow unison ticked, the split voicing is set to drop two, and it says start with lead voice. Right, remember that. Okay, that's it. Don't need to do anything. Just leave it as it is. And the way it works is this. Oh, let's just, before we do that, let's just take the drums and the bass down a bit. Okay, so the way it works is this. The lead instrument is the trumpet, and it starts with the lead instrument. So whether you play from a master keyboard or touch the keys, you always get a trumpet. Right? When you pencil in, you always hear a trumpet. When you touch notes, you always hear a trumpet. If this MIDI out is on, so you hear notes when you touch them and pencil them in, right? But the way it works is this. You put in your first note. Okay, now, there's this extra articulation parameter here. You can set it to off to start with, but because the overall articulation for the section is expressive medium, Every note you put in will get expressive medium by default as the articulation. So I'll put in a straight note like that at about 100 velocity, let's say. Right? And this is it. There's a trumpet, and, and if I solo it, this D 
default articulation expressive medium just means that it rises up in volume you know bah, and settles back down and then the end of the note drops off nicely it doesn't just cut so and cut right there's the first note and it's always a trumpet no matter where you put it right you don't get the trumpet in the upper octaves the sax in the middle octaves and the trombone at the bottom wherever you put this note it's going to be a trumpet because there's only one note and the trumpet's the lead instrument but as soon as you put in the second note whether you pencil in above or below the top note is always the trumpet so if i put in a second note that will now be the trumpet the note below is going to be the trombone uh, the sax the second instrument right the sax oh, sorry the sax and above the trumpet so now this was the second note i put in the sax because the top note is always the trumpet the second note is a sax the original note so the sax is holding down the original root note the trumpet is now playing the harmony above right and if i put a third note in no matter whether i pencil in above or below once there are three notes the bottom note is the trombone so three notes that's now the trumpet this is the sax this is the trombone <laughs> Right, trombone, sax, trumpet. So now you know that's the trombone. You can bring it down to a, to a suitable octave if you want it lower. Right. Now all of these notes are playing the default articulation expressive medium. Now look, it's best to just stick with three notes. When you when you're arranging horns, <coughs> it's best not to be too complicated, right? You can add additional notes, but then it starts to go odd and it's it's hard to you have to think then about what note is playing what. If I put in a fourth note now, right? Um, it will become the trumpet, the top note. Or if I put the note in here, it doesn't matter. The top note will always be the trumpet. Below will be the sax. Below will be the trombone. And so this bottom note is going to be a low trumpet now. So now the trumpet has got the high C and the bottom C. Yeah, The trombone is now going to be this note, playing the E, and the sax will be that note there, the G. Right? So it can get a bit, you know, it's probably best to stick to three notes and then all that's my advice and then augment your basic brass riff arrangement with individual solo single instruments studio horns single instruments you've got all these to choose from okay so look let's let's, let's get a riff together um i'll take that top note out so we're back to that being the trombone that being the um the sax and that's the trumpet <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to make something up. Uh, just you know, some typical soul riff. And 
that sounds really nice. You know, already it's sounding good. <clears throat> but we can add articulation to the notes now, either individually or as groups. Now let's just check out what these articulations do. Um, we just move this aside and put in a new region and just a single note, which will be the trumpet. Okay. So these are the articulations. Sustain, we get a sustain note. Duh, but it's a nice, nice way it sustains. It builds. You get a nice attack at the beginning. Nice, you know, it really sounds real. And it just rises up a bit in volume. But you get a fair, you get an even note. Staccato, no matter how long the note is, you get a staccato hit. Expressive medium is it rises up um, and drops off nicely. So you get a little burst at the beginning, then it rises up, you know, right? That's expressive medium. Expressive short is a shorter version of that. It does the rise up earlier. Like little, and then it settles in. Fall long is a fall off. You know. Fall medium is a short. It, it, the fall off is quicker, and fall short is a very fast fall off. Right. Do it is a rise up, like a trill rising up, like that. Shake is trill is a shake trill. Okay. So you can use these to augment your pattern because it, that's what it's about. It's not about using tons of notes. It's about getting the. Um, come on, where is my? There we are. It's about using the articulation in combination with you know not too many notes to get to get something happening. So. I can look at this and I go, well, look, I'm going to make these all staccato. Like that. And then I could shorten that and make those staccato as well. Yeah. And, you know, and then this, I could put that to expressive short. But I mean, if I wanted to, I could make those all do um, a fall off at the, at the end, fall medium. Oh, sorry, I missed it. Fall medium, come on. Okay, it needs to be a shorter one, fall short. For some reason. Let's make them a little bit longer. Okay, not working so well that one. Shut up. Um, do it. Again, it's, it's too short. So we'll go. What's going to work is the staccato for that. And there's a basic brass riff. But now we want to add some stuff to make that a little bit, you know more interesting and the best thing to do is rather than getting really complicated and trying to add in extra notes here and figure out well is that the trumpet oh damn it now that's the trumpet so i need to move that up and all the rest of it just get, get your basic riff together and then use individual single instruments studio horns single instruments now i've got three on three different instrument tracks so there's the studio trumpet single instrument studio trumpet one 
single instrument studio baritone sax and single instrument studio bass trombone. And now I'll use these to augment my very basic pattern. Okay, so let's start with the um, baritone sax. Right, you know, it's your standard, your standard soul thing. Put in eights. Like that, this is... And then just make a pattern. Right, and then if I want to now, I can um, bring this pattern up. Because you can't put another note in here. This is monophonic, so if you put another note in, you you don't get. Look, if I could put. Listen, I'm not going to get two notes. Right, so that's that. So I've copied the pattern up to the trumpet. Right. So that's playing. Um, it's too low to sound the trumpet because the trumpet begins higher up. There, right. So. Now this could do a, a harmony. Like that, right. Give these all a bit more velocity. They're still on staccato. You could try it higher up. And then the trombone, we could just have it doing some blasts down the bottom. Some sustained blasts, but we'll have this on expressive medium. Get back there, something like that. But these I'm going to make staccato. We could make that a, a shake, yeah, or whatever, um, all long. But so you see, you just add in the extras, right? Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss, yeah. Um, and that's it. <sighs> that's how I did all the others. It's it's you know. Um, easy peasy on some of them I've got you know the and this I'm using the trumpet to do a harmony but on you know I can have um I think that, that this is monophonic obviously as well so I could take that let's move that across and you know I can use the, to do some really really high high trumpet mad thing you know doing a doing um, a shake so a little shake and then a couple of stabs You know what I mean? You're just adding in those little touches. Now, obviously, that's not going to happen every time. That will come in now and again, you know, or just once. Yeah, that's it. That's how easy it is, right? 
Um, now, there's a few extras. I mean, as I say again, there is all the business with the six and seven piece don't work like that. If you put six notes in the six piece for, into a region with the six piece section, you don't get the six instruments. You get six notes playing the tenor sax. <laughs> so I've got to figure out how to use that. But as I said again, you don't need these to do all your brass work. The three piece is perfect. I'll augment with the individual solo instruments. And that gives you a much better thing, right? Because you've got more control over these individuals because, like the trumpet, for example, it's got more articulations than the brass section, right? So you can do more with it. Um, but there is the smart controls. Um, you've got basic stuff to adjust your sound. This is the dynamics. It does what it says on the tin, less dynamics. Let's just listen to just the brass section. You get just more dynamics there, right? What's that actually controlling? Ah, uh, the compressor. Right, yeah. Okay. Um, tone. That's just adjusting, you know, bot uh, giving it more grit and bite at the top. Treble or softer. Dirt is drive. And warmth is body. Then the room and the hall here just connected to the um, the sends on the the auxiliary sends on the main group bus channel. The whole brass section passes through this, right? Okay, you've got these key switches now. Again, this is to do with live performance. I wouldn't need these, but if you're penciling in, um, you know, there's, to my mind, I would say. It, there's nothing worse than listening to a keyboard player, a traditional keyboard player, playing a solo with a synth or an instrument on, on, on a keyboard. I'm sorry, it's all that you know when they do the the they do the mod wheel of, of the vibrato and they 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 sort of do it like they're they're a lead guitarist like bending a note. It makes me laugh. Um, I'm sorry, that's just me. But anyway, this is to do with live performance, right? You you can um, there are these. Um, really low notes you know, down C0, D0, E0, etc., that can switch on the fly between different, um, um, blah, 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 what's it called? Different, uh, different articulations, right? So you can assign these, um, and they can you can change their octave, right? But this is live performance stuff, right? So you can hold down a key um, or have some control, you know, to, to change the articulation on the fly as you play, right? But again, it's not something we need to get brass down, right? Well, to get brass down, I've shown you. Now, the six and seven piece, I've got to investigate those to see how they work, because as I said, with the six and seven piece, you put the notes in, it doesn't divide into the different instruments. So there's something else that has to be done for that. I'll have to sort of work through that and see if I can find it out but to be honest I doubt I would ever use the six or seven piece brass section why the hell would I you know this is a brass section there's your three instruments there are three instruments in a brass section for soul for funk you might get four but you're just usually going to get two trumpets right um yeah so um there you go easy peasy right Let's have some drums back with it. Oh yeah, there is something else. Um, on the actual instrument itself, there is some controls. Um, now the humanizer is a weird one. That really is weird because look, check out this pattern here. This one I made. If you put the humanizer up full, it starts to... This is the pattern. This is the brass section over four bars. With the human eyes up full, it it starts to select notes and sustain them, right? It, it does some weird stuff.
Well, I was doing it before. I can guarantee you it was. was doing it before it it, it it this well you have to listen for yourself i mean it just adds some variations in auto vibrato you know does what it says on the tin it will it will auto add some auto vibrato to longer notes you can adjust the attack but if you do it too much obviously it sounds completely unnatural Although, if you're doing score work or something, you want a very slow fading in, like, or something, that maybe you would need that. But generally speaking, that comes off. And the release, well, then you just get the kind of, you know, you know, you know, this kind of thing. Sire! A messenger approaches! Sire, I bring bad news. Not bad news, I hate bad news. You know, that kind of thing, right? You know, you can do some old old style stuff. And the key clicks really works, actually. Um, but you hear it on the sax, really. Um, come back, where's me blasted thing? Uh, the solo of the sax. Yeah, have a listen to this. If you put the key clicks up. Now, now the human eyes is doing it. See how it's sustaining? It's just picking some sax notes to sustain. It's, it's it's weird what this chooses to do if you push it up a lot. But you can hear the key clicks, right? Yeah, okay. So yeah, there you go. The brass section. It's a it's a cracker. It really is. It's, it's bloody bl fantastic. This thing. I mean, considering it's free, that's ridiculous. That's good enough to make a soul track, a funk track. <laughs> yeah. Brr, you know all that shit. So, there we are, um, ladies and gentlemen, the new horns section in, wait, shut up, in, um, in Logic. I'm absolutely astounded how good it is for a freebie. It's just absolutely brilliant. I mean, what more do you want? I mean, that is good enough for a release. Um, the quality, I mean, look, you know, I'm not saying my patterns are, but by God, Get that in a good mix with a good tune, and it's good enough. Okay, so, I hope that's useful. I'll see you for the next bit of Logic 10.4 that I decide to look at. And I will work out how the 6 and 7 piece works, and come back and tell you when i figured it out, and the other bits and bobs, the more fiddly stuff that we don't need to know about, really. Okay.